Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 36. This week I'm going to be describing the intervalometer menu on the camera axe and how you can use it to take time lapse photographs. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll plug in your camera cable into camera port number one. Then you'll turn on the camera axe. Now one thing you may want to do is go through the menus until you get to the general settings menu and here you can turn the backlight off and that will conserve a lot of power. Uh, I'll leave it on since it shows up better in the video this way. Now if we go to the intervalometer menu. This is the menu we'll be looking at today. Uh, one thing you can do um, in any of the menus is if you hit uh, these buttons next to the camera flash ports uh, it will turn this LED on and that means that you're triggering the camera. So if, if you're sort of wondering if everything's set up right and you have the object you want framed correctly you can just uh, hit that button to test fire the camera and look at the back of your camera to see if the uh, picture is framed the way you want. So now we'll go over the actual menu settings. Uh, the first one is the start delay and that's the amount of time uh, from uh, when you hit activate which will put it into the uh, photo taking mode uh, until when the interval timer starts. So if we're to set this to let's say five seconds, what that means uh, we hit activate so it'll count down from five seconds and then it'll take its first picture and then it starts going uh, to the interval timer which is set to 30 seconds by default and now after 30 seconds it'll take the second photo and then after another 30 seconds it'll take a third photo so that's pretty much that works so interval uh, you set the times here um, both of the the start delay and the interval uh, timer uh, have uh, the first two numbers represent hours and that can be from uh, 0 to 99 and then you've got minutes and that can be from 0 to 60 and then you've got uh, seconds which can be from 0 to 60 as well number of shots uh, if this is zero it'll take an infinite number of shots if you want to only take a uh, couple hundred shots let, let's say you want to take 50 shots you'd set this to 50 and then after 50 shots it'll stop taking photos so that can be pretty useful the bulb is the duration you want the camera shutter to be active so a lot of times this won't matter too much. One second is, is a fine um, duration. That's sort of like holding your shutter button down for one second. And then the camera will take whatever exposure uh, it's programmed to take uh, in the camera. If you set the camera to bulb mode, then this will uh, work similar to how, how bulb works on uh, your, your camera. If, if you set this to one second, then your shutter will be open for one second. If you set it to 0.1 seconds, your shutter will be open to 0.1 seconds if it's in bulb mode. This can be useful in uh, low light situations. The reason it doesn't go any faster than 0.1 seconds is because bulb mode on most cameras doesn't work with really short durations. So unfortunately, this is sort of a limitation that most cameras have. But this is, I, I mean, I've used this for like taking photographs of uh, starry nights and things where I want to take a picture, you know, every two minutes and I want the shutter to be open for 45 seconds. This will work uh, great in those kinds of situations. Uh, HDR stops, this works in combination with bulb mode. So it has to be a fairly low light situation where you can put your camera into bulb and 0.1 seconds is going to be the shortest duration. But what you can do here is you can control the number of stops and you can go from zero to nine stops. And this is the number of extra photos. So basically what it'll do is if you set it to one, 
and you have the bulb set to one second, it would take a photo with a bulb setting of one second, and then it would take a second photo with a bulb duration of two seconds. And if you set it to three, it would then, or I'm sorry, to two, then it would take a third photo with a duration of four seconds. So it's going to keep doubling the amount of time, which equals one stop in photography of light. So it's a pretty convenient way to do things. So the next one is mirror lockup. Uh, so the way this works is it will um, send a signal to your camera to uh, put flip up the mirror and then it will wait two seconds and take a photo. You have to have your camera set into mirror lockup mode and that's a control function on Canon cameras. I know there's something similar on Nikon and Olympus cameras. So you just have to look into your uh, camera manual and figure out how to use mirror lockup mode. Um, but once your camera's set to uh, use mirror lockup mode, then the camera X can take advantage of that. You just change this to yes. And that's pretty much all of the software menus I, I want to go over today. Uh, I'm always interested in hearing new ideas for this. This is all software. Uh, this is all open source software. So if you want to go in there and modify things uh, for a specific use case you have, that you know is completely allowed and uh, encouraged. If you just have ideas that you think would make this menu better, uh, please you know share them with me uh, either on the forums or as a post in this uh, to this video. I'm always looking for you know new software-based ideas that will make the camera acts better. Uh, I think that this is probably one of the best intervalometers uh, I've seen. I haven't seen others with like these HDR settings. It's it's a, it's a very flexible system, but uh, I'm always open to make it better and uh, you know share your ideas. Thanks for watching.